So good evening and welcome to this meeting of the Planning and Highways Committee on the 19th of July. And in case you weren't already aware, this meeting is being visually and audio recorded for publication on the Thatcham Town Council YouTube channel. And if you're watching that on YouTube, you already know that. So moving on to the agenda. Uh, item one, apologies for absence. Um, apologies received from Councillor Keith Woodhams and from Councillor Lee Dillon. Thank you. And so moving on to item two, de declarations of interest. Anybody have a declaration of interest uh, on the items on the agenda tonight? Oh, yes, sorry, I just noticed what, what to store the battery lost to our I, I don't think you're probably aware that there was any mechanical plant at the rear of it, so you're probably not in for, influenced by it. Anyway, thank you. So uh, I don't think we'll be asking you to leave the room. So moving on to uh, item three, um, the minutes are taken read the, as read the minutes of the last meeting. So I propose. Thank you. Thank you. Those in favour, thank you. So that's uh, item three though. With item four, matters arising from the previous meeting. Betty Clark. Nothing from me, Jane. So if I just mention one item that we might need to, well, obviously we have the, um, the it's not in the, this agenda, but, but it's a sort of standing item, uh, which is uh, I see now projects. Um, to let you know that uh, we have received from West Berkshire Council uh, the, it, the tender document or the specification for the study uh, on the Thatcham Town Centre, which references the, um, the ICN projects studies. Uh, so firstly, the website of uh, oh, ICN, although it refers to the, um, the second version of the economic study, the, the, the one that you download is still the first version. And secondly, of course, there is the, the, the comments that we made have not been incorporated. So just to let you know that uh, the draft, which I think will be considered at full council meeting next week, uh, will be ho hopefully be responding to West Berkshire Council to inform them of that, to make sure that the consultants are aware of, the, of our information in the most recent version. Uh, I guess we haven't heard anything about um, about the work, they, it also said in that in that study that it was expected to be, it be that the specification that the study was expected to be completed in September, which means that we should by now have uh, received the, uh, the draft for our for comments. So perhaps if, would you be able to chase that one up and inquire what the status? And I'll um, give you the if you're contacting them, I'll give you that information on the uh, the version of control on, on their website so that they can update that as well. Jeremy, yeah. it's also worth, uh, worth reminding them that the invitation was there to have the physical presentation done. Uh, and ask them if you have any plans to engage with the public. If we can do, I, I suspect that's a rhetorical question at this stage. But yes, thank you. So we'll do that. Um, mm -hmm. Thank you. And so. Um, and the other thing to, oh no, the other one is going to come up under high, highways matters. So that I think covers agenda item four. Uh, if you don't have anything else, do you? Okay, thank you. So um, agenda item five, the uh, West Berkshire Servi Servi Winter Service Plan consultation. And um, we have a, an example of doc printed copy of the, the, of the, the, the document there. Um, and I hope you've all given it due consideration. Thank you. Um, so I suggested that uh, we last year we, we did make some quite detailed comments and they weren't taken into it. They weren't accepted. I think that basically uh, the, the service plan is largely fixed and they were looking for corrections rather than suggestions for additions because they have a fixed budget. So it's probably not worth doing the same again this year. Um, so, but does anyone have any comments that they they wish to convey to West Berkshire Council about that? I, I saw your yeah. uh, Facebook or WhatsApp. WhatsApp, yeah. Yeah. Okay. There are actually, if you read it in detail, some of the uh, street names are given incorrectly in there, but I think it's fairly clear <laughs> what route that the uh, the, the will take. 
So uh, for that, I think we'll just note, if, if you're happy to note this document that someone put prepared, I'll, I'll put a note to thank you. Thank you, seconded. And those in favor, noting the winter service plan update. Thank you very much. Then we come on to item six, the level crossing order relative to Colthrop level crossing. So I, um, if I recall correctly, the deputy clerk circulated this some time ago because it included a large plan that you wouldn't be able to print at home. Um, and I did look at this and it appears to me that what, what we have here is effectively a legal agreement between West Berkshire Council and Network Rail about the division of responsibilities for the upkeep of various aspects of the level crossing. Uh, and that's been updated as a result of the changes due to electrification. So in practice, um, I couldn't find anything that it was meaning for us to, for us to comment on because effectively it's just a legal agreement between the two parties, not a proposal for anything to be changed. So before... What, what exactly does it say then? Does it deal with the, you know, the problems of Baines Wars and how they are... Uh... Um, yeah, it's about, it's about it's about who's responsible for putting them up and down, how many lights there are on the barriers, who's responsible for the road signs and the tarmac in various places, and that sort of thing. The timing, the timing is so often. They come down, sit there, and they're trained. That, that is not that is not part of it. It's purely the infrastructure, not the um, not the operation. It's a really important bit then. It's, it's, a, it's an agreement for, 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 for the maintenance, for the upkeep of the various parts. So that's not part of that uh, discussion. This is, of course, Colthrop, not, um, not the station. So you're probably less frequent visitors to that. Well, I don't know where you go to unless you're buying gravel in bulk. Um, anyway, so uh, thank you. Can, can we just note that, uh, that, that start survey unless anyone's got any comments? Thank you. Thank you. Those in favour of uh, noting that. Thank you very much. West Berkshire Council bus survey. So this is a um, an online survey. Would you like to introduce this? Do you have anything to mm -hmm. add? Jump from six. Oh, seven. Have we? Have I jumped something? So review, oh, so review of the Thatcham Station implementation plan. Um, and uh, I've got an action which I haven't fulfilled for basically. So can I suggest that we defer this item to the next meeting when you'll have something to consider? Uh, there's no great hurry about that. Thank you. Propose we defer the same thing, Chair. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Um, so moving on to the bus survey, to public transport meeting. Um, so, um, so this is a, an, Basically, an online survey. Um, would you like to introduce this? Um, yes. So, West Berkshire Council have extended their deadline for this uh, bus survey. It's basically for residents. Um, where we've had a resident uh, comment that there wasn't uh, advertising of this bus survey. Um, so, I approached West Berkshire Council for. Um, hard copy, so at least uh, it could be in the office for members of the public to pick up. Um, so the, I just thought I'd provide you with details of what the survey was about, and should anyone wish to um, comment on it, it is uh, available until the 31st of July. Copies are in that can be provided in the office, or um, uh, members of the public can contact West Berkshire Council and they can forward it to them as well. So. Um, so, 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 thank you, Chair. Is Saxon Town Council uh, putting out any uh, um, publicity to encourage other residents to, to comment? I notice it's available at uh, the Redoubt in West Bar, so the hard copy on Saxon Town Council. Is it, is it on our website anywhere? Um, so we did put out an initial uh, Facebook post about it when it initially came up. Um, I think there's been another one to say when it's expiring. Um, so that's two ways of publicising it. Um, we'll double check. Okay. Thank you. That's a I mean, just thinking, uh, obviously, it's not long to expiring date, but maybe. Up a, a small notice in bus shelters would be a, uh, a good way of yeah. yeah, Chair, I mean, it, 
I'm going to search for it online because I wasn't aware of it and I used the bus frequently, so, so I will respond. Mm -hmm. But it, it is, um, and it's West Berkshire Council responsibility, really. It's no mm -hmm. consultation. Uh, and it would be desirable if they had to the bus companies to do exactly what Ms. Willoughby Club has just proposed. Uh, I'm happy to promote it just a Twitter thing, which I use. Maybe we could all just uh, do all this a bit and share it where we can, uh, just as councillors and try to help the community become aware of it. So, uh, as I say, it's, it's, it's intended largely for residents. We could, in principle, respond. I think we have actually responded already to previous stages in this process. So, um, uh, as I know, he's asked for any specific points to be uh, raised at this time. Can I suggest that we note that with the actions that we've agreed? Okay, sorry, can just ask, can just confirm what's the extension date? It's obviously still got the wrong date on there. Just so. Sorry, on. Uh, to the 31st of July. 31st of July. Yeah. Yes, it does actually say on the website. That's right. Yeah. Mm. <coughs> okay. Thank you. So, so moving on, planning applications, of which we have four this meeting. The first one we have is uh, land to the rear of 123 and 125 Bath Road. Um, it's a construction of three detached bungalows together with associated parking and access off the Bath Road. Now, members uh, considered this um, in July 2021. Um, it was refused by West Berkshire Council initial planning permission. Um, Thatcham Town Council at the time had no objections, subject to adequate um, off-road parking for the properties of 123 and 125 Bath Road, uh, more accessible cycling storage, and had concern for visibility of cars obstructing the footway when leaving the property. Um, it appears that this application addresses some of the reasons for why the original planning application was refused. Um, so I don't know whether you recall it. Um, so the two properties here are owned by the applicant. We're putting the three properties at the back. They privately rent these two properties out and then they're proposing putting uh, three uh, bungalows to the rear of the properties. Um, so yes, it was considered originally by members back in 20, July 2021. Um, let's see if I can expand this a bit more. There we go. So in their design and access statement, uh, they explain a bit about, about it here. Um, and then so I'm just trying to find what I read. Yeah, they're just trying to address a lot of the things that were pointed out at the first time that it was refused. Um, sorry, I've lost the paragraph I was looking for <laughs> earlier on. There's another document we there can we, Yeah. Um, so that when it previously was refused, um, they said it had um, unacceptable impact on the amenity of residents 123 and 125 Bath Road, um, and issues with the access, um, and the shared drive, and critical drainage, and flood risks, mm. and various things they hadn't had put forward last time. So. Uh, Jim, from that part, uh, would you say what our, what our comments were? were yep. our, our previous comments were, um, we had no objections, um, subject to adequate off-road parking uh, for properties 123 and 125 Bath Road, more accessible cycling storage, and had concern for visibility of cars obstruction, of the footway when leaving the property. Mm -hmm. so, 
on that occasion, so they've come back. So I, I looked through this while well, finding mm -hmm. the detail. I was extremely surprised at the reasons given. In fact, there's a separate document um, provided by the applicants this time, which is a rebuttal of the reasons. So they were claiming overdevelopment. Um, this is two doors down from Francis Close, 53 houses in, in the space of five. Um, uh, the noise of the traffic going down the um, adjacent, if you think about some of the other new developments um, where they put more houses than this in the, in the land of one or two houses, the drives are immediately adjacent. And in fact, in that one case, it's a covered over as well. So uh, as the applicants say, um, the precedent is set, and this is actually far a far less intense development than most of the other ones that have been that have been made further along Bath Road between Hennick Lane and Northfield Road. So, what's the guidance about this? Well, it's more backland development, and others do exactly what they mean. Yeah, uh, in fact, climbing up and rebuilding on the, the gardens of uh, properties to the front. I thought generally that uh, that was disproved of them. Planning guidance. Um, it, it's well. I think it, 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 there are mixed messages. So, uh, firstly, uh, there's a su support of development in in, in in existing development land. This is these are of course very long gardens, and um, they haven't been extensively used apparently historically. Mm -hmm. um, they, if you go for, you, you can see that. Uh, of course, this is an old photograph here, so you can see. Um, the four properties on the corner that have now become Francis Close. Yeah. Um, and it's, I think, uh, eight houses and 43 flats, if I recall, in that space. So the idea of putting three, three, um, three bungalows in the gardens of those two properties seems a very low density compared to that. Can I see the gardens again? And if you, go, if you were to go further to the east, there is math, is it what, well, I can't remember the names of the two roads, but there's one where um, it's, uh, Aurora House and another <coughs> one where they, uh, that six flats been put in behind. There's another one where uh, a similar number of flats and four houses have been put in, have re replaced two houses. Um, and there's one where there's two houses and uh, put further back with, I think, six flats in front. So. Matt, I think yeah. just outlined the the area that's going to be that bit now. It's about it's just that portion. Mm -hmm. Yeah, belief. And there's an this access is... road going, going up there. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And in fact, if you look, if you go into Hennick Lane, you've got um, uh, Chestnut Close, which has got uh, 12, 14 mm -hmm. properties, I think, uh, which have been put in the space behind. So, in, in fact, this, as I say, this is a low, low, low density development compared to the precedents uh, in, the, in the neighbourhood. Um, <coughs> And in fact, if you go back, if you, it, it, you can't see it on that photograph because it's too old, but you will see on Francis Close that the road layout has been designed such that it can continue further. So the alternative for this is um, a more aggressive developer could continue that density of development for, uh, further along the road. Well, to incorporate... Uh, incorporate this, you, they, they, would fit, they would probably fit 20 in this space. So... <clears throat> So, so last time we had no objection. We had no objection. We made made those comments on on matters so of detail. So, done some work in this house. So, so and, and yeah, I say, and, and the other, a lot of lot of the other material that I provided is is some uh, surveys of various types of football things that are required as a matter of course, even if they're not really relevant, like ecology here. Um, so, um, and flooding. So, I, I think in this case um, we didn't object before. Um, and I, I would suggest that we don't object again. I, I would be tempted to make an explicit comment that we regard this at this level of uh, development as uh, density of development that's acceptable compared to the neighbouring properties because of that point that the alternative could be far, far worse. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, if that's a proposal, I will second it. Those in favour of that, thank you very much. Thank you, Chair. <clears throat> so we move on to. Um, 66 Mersey Way. Uh, 
Right, so 66 Mercy Way. Um, they, they have a first floor extension, which they now wish to extend above. Um, so I think the garage was previously converted and there was a slight first floor extension to the rear. Um, and now it looks like they want to extend over what was the previous garage um, and the extension to the kitchen to form two bedrooms uh, above, um, whilst converting the existing bedroom three into an ensuite. And that will increase it from a three to four bedroom property. Um, so, so the existing elevation shows the single story um, extension here, and then they're looking to go above the existing single story extension uh, here. Um, so yeah, they converted the garage into a study and utility and then extended out their single story. And now they're looking to go above this with a third and fourth bedroom <coughs> and change the existing third bedroom into an ensuite here. So if I locate it, I believe it is this one here. Um, doesn't show the converted uh, garage on this one. Um, but looking around, here's others have converted the garage. And then we've also got precedents here where people have gone up over. Mm -hmm. Can I draw your attention, sorry, to, mm -hmm. to the, go back to the uh, one we were just looking at, the converted garage. Um, mm -hmm. No, up to my No, sorry. <laughs> you can swing around to the about that blue blue door there, the garage with the blue door. Oh, no, no. I was going to say that garage, those two there look like uh, look to have the same conversion done to them. Uh, I was just going to draw your attention to the blue yeah. line, which I would like to see. Okay. Yeah. Apex, Apex. It didn't seem to be just no. down there. It didn't seem to be on the plan of the applicant's property. Those don't look to me to be subservient. So that you've got two, at least two and possibly three houses there, the one with the blue, the one with the red car, well, and that, and that one. Well, no. slightest. I think it's just the just, I think it's just the angle because you're the the the, the, the that one. That one. No, that's mm. that one's not there. Mm. You look at the go at the tilt up, you'll see that. Mm. So mm. I think that there's a precedent. Oh, no. Not a precedent of not next door, but the, the three following along have done pretty much an identical um, version. Yeah. I, I, I have my point yeah. with that. I'd be happy with any yeah. objections. Mm. Okay. Yeah, there's an objection. There's no objection. There's no objection. Thank you. Uh, number three. Oh, Mm -hmm. So this is for the installation or replacement of mechanical plant at the rear of the store. Um, so this is the existing rear elevation mm. uh, with the mechanical plant behind. Um, and this is the proposed it looks like they're just changing the setup slightly because they're going to have a fire exit here. So they've um, separated I think, yeah. this. Well, they've got a fire exit there, but I think it's got to go straight yeah. out. Um, and then installing the plant in these two portions here. I don't think it's visible, so. No, I, I, I would say no objection with the yeah. rear of the building. I might second that. Thank you. There's in favour of no objection. Thank you. And given that uh, the co op in, in, in Broadway is unable to sort your foods because their plant is broken down today, <laughs> the replacement <laughs> plant, replacement plant of co op stores is probably a good thing. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Yes. Mm -hmm. okay, number four. Okay, so the final one is 17 Tamaris Court. Um,
is this corner plot here. Um, their proposal is a two-storey ground and first floor extension to the back of the detached property. Uh, this includes extending the kitchen and lounge uh, on the ground floor and extending the first and second bedroom on the first floor. Um, so they're not increasing the number of bedrooms, they're just increasing the size of the bedrooms. Um, so, oops. Let me get this the right size. <laughs> right, so these are the existing floor plans. Um, they previously converted a garage into a dining room um, and had a single story extension back in 2013, which had no objections. Um, and then Three, four bedrooms there. And then they're looking to extend out the back of the property to extend the kitchen and the sitting family room, I guess. Um, and then extend bedroom two and bedroom one out over the top of that extension. Mm -hmm. um, so, and so before. And after so so, elevations of four, four and this that. one's the one after, so that's how it will look the double story extension to the rear. Um, like so. It's like an improvement to the rear. Um, we'll go and look at the. Have a look at the footprints before and after. Sorry. Okay. So that's after, and that's before. And the back bit. So <clears throat> the property is down here. It's at the end of a little cul-de-sac, and it's in the corner here. So they've done a previous, as I said before, previous extension <clears throat> here. And if I'm on the back, um, if I go to it's this property here, and it looks like a similar thing has happened to the adjacent property here. Mm -hmm. um, no problems in moving this anymore. Not living ones. Well, from what I've heard, I would suggest yeah. no, no objection. Yeah, okay, I'm happy to say in favour of no objection. Thank you very much. <clears throat> and then we have one, one property that we're not considering unless uh, any objections. No. No objections. Mm -hmm. So we'll, that concludes agenda item nine. Mm -hmm. So we then move on to agenda item 10. So we received notification uh, of a decision, uh, an appeal decision for property 10 Alexander Road. Um, so there was a peer, an appeal against the, um, sorry, that piece of paper. Yes, there was a, an appeal against this an enforcement notice on this property to, um, they were in breach of planning control um, and they were asked to um, remove some of uh, the three-story extension that they put to the rear of the property. Um, I'm just reading them. Um, so yes, there was a, so the appeal decision has uh, gone against West Berkshire Council's enforcement notice. Looks like due to some 
has no administrative areas of the drawings. Um, <clears throat> we'd like to read well, that, that, uh, through. Key point to be saying uh, how to accept the important notice of invalid recognising level of service and form. That looks like a very certain notice, which is invalid in, in, in the uh, spectrum is struck now. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And this is from interest of interest to our possibly mm -hmm. only this, um, mm -hmm. which is what we don't want. So, mm -hmm. proposed notice. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Second, you said in favour of noting this. Thank you very much. Uh, agenda item 11. Management, highways and road safety matters. Yes. Um, you have anything? No, nothing from so me. I will just inform you briefly that uh, we have learnt of a consultation by a body called Transport for the South East. And the document is called a strategic investment plan for the South East. Uh, they go running to 141 pages. Um, of which about three three rows in one table towards the end are relevant to that chain. And uh, this is in fact a body which is a consortium of all of the local highways authorities or trans traffic authorities in the southeast of England, including West Berkshire Council. Uh, there are two uh, entries re relevant to some some extent of that and One says improvements to bus services between Newbury and Thatcham. And the other one is improvements to the A339 between Basingstoke and Newbury, and that may have consequential impacts on uh, the, the need for a bridge over the railway track, the railway line. Anyway, that because that we only learned of that a couple of days ago, that will be on the agenda for the next meeting for, for consideration and uh, probably the meeting after that for agreeing a response. The deadline is not until the 4th of September. Um, but it seems to be quite a could potentially significant document and it's certainly something I think given that it mentions Thatcham and bus services which we've addressed before is something we ought to respond to in some form. So we'll circulate the link to that uh, probably hopefully you'll not, not need too many printed copies uh, and um, and then we'll do, we'll, we'll do with it at future meetings. Thank you. So that's just agenda item 11, 11 agenda item 12. So Clark. Decision notices. Um, <clears throat> there we go. Um, so we've got approvals. Um, this one we consider, we consider was a refusal. Um, That's, that was under the, the permitted development rights, so yeah. presumably it was refused because it didn't fall within them rather than yeah. because they didn't uh, accept the proposal. Yeah. Um, refusal two was, <coughs> excuse me, proposed single story rear extension. Um, we raised no objections on that. <coughs> so, excuse me. Um, it was refused. Um, by reason of the design in the site uh, represent an addition which fails to harmonise with the appearance of the existing property uh, or appears subservient to it um, and the resultant dwelling would not be appropriate in form, scale and design uh, within its context. Um, so that was the reasoning behind they didn't like it. that one. Um, so the barn uh, has been refused. Um, Thatcham Council had no objections, but um, there was issues with regards to the wall abutting the pavement and uh, with the uh, visibility of the listed building from the streets. So, uh, I was going to say, is that oh dear, good sir? Mm -hmm. I'm sorry, right along with everything else to see that. Mm -hmm. Up to fly, what's, so the, what's the headlines for the refusal? It's the item three of them. It's yes, so yeah. here it There's is. Very long stuff about the minor defects in the drawings, harmful mm -hmm. impact on the field, building readability in the street scene. That's what we were concerned with. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, it's not appropriate in terms of design and context of the existing settlement form. Well, item three is another, another document, no, mm -hmm. item three is another documentation issue relating to the heritage. Um, 
and that's important to do with protected species that might be uh, nesting in it. Oops. Oh, well, what was the protected species? It says it uh, fails to fail to be the that documentation is insufficient to determine whether the proposal will impact upon protected species or other biodiversity aspect, assets. Um, so we need to do an ecological appraisal before the authority can make an assessment. Yeah. The question can be dealt with by the condition. Yeah. So it's insufficient information. But there is also the um, the, 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 the seat, street scene one, which might be more mm -hmm. yeah. 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 yeah, but we thought that could be resolved by yeah. building the fence in the hill. They might be more interested in some of the other aspects of parking and so on, but yeah. Okay, thank you for that. It sounds like it's about completed, wasn't it? A few months time. Yeah. Mm -hmm. oh, sorry, so I My apologies, hang on. Oh, I see it. Right, right up the top. Okay. Thank you. So that was decision notices. Um, so agenda item 13, reports from town council, the appointees to other, to, to outside bodies. And I'll turn to uh, uh, Councillor Lily Crop to see if we've had any flooding issues in the last few weeks. Maybe <laughs> chair <laughs> 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 there. Uh, got a meeting coming up soon, but uh, uh, nothing else to report. There. Okay. Thank you very much. So that brings us to the end of uh, the agenda. So I therefore uh, like to close the meeting. Thank you very much. Thank you, Chair. Yeah.